here's where the chaos begins. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Honey Bee Fun with me, Happy yep, Bee Man. On today's episode, let's let, let's just go ahead and give you a little bit of background. This I got a phone call yesterday from a lady who's got a little small cabin that she rents out on her property to uh, like an Airbnb. And one of the uh, renters that had stayed there for a few days found that they had some honeybees around the backside, up underneath the enclosed rear deck. Report is these bees have not been there for very long, like a couple of days. So that being said. Let's go ahead and head on over there and see what we can get. So here they are. Check it out. Uh huh. So there's got to be some kind of a gap where this post, this post goes up through there, and they're trying to get in. We're gonna hopefully get up here and let's catch us some bees before they get that, before they get up in here. And now I gotta open up that. There's a screw. There's a screw. So if there's a screw there. It'll just be a small corner cut. We can open that up, try to get them out. We got bees up here fanning. It makes me wonder, I wonder if this is overflow that's getting ready to swarm. They're being pretty nice right now. Really pretty nice. Let's move them back up. They're, they're pretty calm. Overcast, rainy today, so there's not a lot of flying going on, but man, to have them like this, and not going crazy what we'll do is we'll just start scooping some bees a little bit at a time and uh, vacuuming them up and see if we got a queen out here and then we can figure out what's going on in the void space All right, so let me get my light up there. You see it? I can get in there. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to drop the board. Good side to it is. I think we can cut a straight line and only pull a quarter of this off. So let's uh, let's go get the drill and see what we got. Nobody expected this. Um. This is why we tell them, you've only known them to be there for a few days. That don't mean they've only been there for a few days. Holy guacamole. Um, holy, there's like 10 pounds of bees in here. I'm just going to tell you right now, if I find a queen in this mess, y'all better like, subscribe, and share the stew out of this video. Granted, she's got the biggest one this year. So we're getting there we can actually see comb okay and when we get the further towards the front this is where the entrance was so this would be the first comb that they built and by the color they've been here since last year probably two years ago this will be some of the newer and this is probably this nice white comb is this year's comb what I do is I, I reduce their numbers down give them a few minutes to relax don't push them don't make them mad. They'll start coming down here to cover this comb up and hold in the heat above. A beehive is basically an incubator to store their food and up in this area make their babies. But they gotta maintain it to a certain temperature so that those little eggs can turn into bees, right? The bees are coming down to cover the lower parts of the comb and in between the gaps 
so that they can incubate the eggs and maintain temperature and not chill the brood. Really just after a minute or two, they've all come down and they're covering the areas up to where this is where the brood or the babies would be. And they've come down so that they could cover that up and it just makes it easier for me to collect them. We gotta get these bees collected, start pulling this comb uh, with the nectar and honey in it and they're still calm as can be. So mama's still up in there. I expect she's gonna be way up over in here somewhere. There's an old saying, practice makes perfect. Well, that's wrong. Practice makes permanent. You can practice all day long how to kick a ball through the uprights at a football field. And if you don't kick it the right way, you're never gonna make it through. You can practice and practice the wrong way over and over again, and it's gonna become permanent. Until you do it right, it ain't perfect. So everything is still going really good. We pulled one of the first pieces of comb out uh, the comb is very firm, which makes it a lot easier to deal with. When it's warm, it's real soft, and then you get breakage and problems, but uh, ain't that pretty cool? Just the next piece that they were starting to build. Go on, girls. Get on up there. That was a neat little piece of comb. That's as clean as you're ever going to see it right there. All right, gang. We've got the bulk of the food stores or the honey out, but as you can tell, we have still got a lot, a lot of bees. But now is when I'm going to have to start being careful because I want to find that queen. We would like to cage her. And the reason I cage her is for keeping up with her for the next couple days. It'll help to lock the bees that we've gotten from this job in their new hive at my house. Be able to uh, hold them to the new box and give them time to stay and start setting up. I'll let her go after about two or three days once they've started building comb and got everything ready and they just go right back to being bees. So we finally got our first box. I've got so much heat coming up. But my first box of bees, and we're starting on a second box. There's only so many bees that I'll put in, in, in a box when I tote them because they create so much heat. So we got a second box going and we're about to get some more bees. Lots more bees. This thing is just packed full of bees. And look what I found while we were videoing. These are queen cells. Beekeepers, you guys, I know you know what it is. But for those that are new to the channel, that cell, this one right here, and there's actually another one behind it, those are the cells that they raise a new queen in. So the amount of bees that we had all up in here, and then finding where these cells are capped off they were within a day or two of half of this colony completely leaving and going somewhere else guys i'm about to have a big problem five minutes ago that was closed i just moved this over here and that's about to open we're about we're about to see a queen hatch I mean like for real. Now that was just a cup. Here's another one and here's another one. She is trying to get her way out of there I think. Oh snap. Did she get out already? Nope there she is. There she is. Watch this. Watch this. Holy crap. Here she comes. Oh snap. There it is. There's a queen just hatched. Oh man. Hang on. Holy cow. That was easy. Cap that off right there. Um we just we just had a queen hatch out. So yeah, we got another one running around somewhere down here. I don't know where she went. And hopefully, hopefully she'll figure out how to come back up here. But now I gotta worry about this one and this one. Talk about timing. Now as quiet as these are in here, now I'm wondering if they got one. This is unreal. Found her. There's the first one that hatched. She was over there, she was over here cleaning and I was looking at this bee and I'm going, what is that, what is that? Crap, there's another one. Oh, we gotta be gentle with her. I gotta go get another cage. Crap, that's two of them. I gotta get her turned around just the right way. 
we'll put her in this old cage right here all right she's on there and she can't get out because that thing's there but she's got a wax cap so and then there were two look there's a drone big coming out hey big fat boy all right we'll see you in a minute buddy i'm hoping that if this one decides to come out when i'm not looking that it will basically stay right here on top of all this stuff so yeah let's see what happens five queen cages one cap i still got a bunch of bees to get this uh this is getting interesting all right so i gotta get that honey cleaned out right there get the bees off clean that spot up and we've got that much left I'm not waiting. I gotta know. We've already caught three. I wanna know if this one in here is any good. All three of them were just fine. We found one dud. Let's see if there's a queen in there. Watch this. Here she comes. Here she comes. Come on, mama. I'll make you some room. Yeah, she's gonna come right on out. Here's number four. Can you make it? Big old fat butt. Go ahead, come on. Come on. Here, I'll get you a little more room. There it is. There it is. There we go. There's number four. Look at how dark she is. Oh, she's got dark, dark to her. Well, do you mind just walking right in this cage? Go on. Get up in there. Uh, 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 get up in there. Go on. Go on. Cap that off. And then there's four. Alright. I'm going to open this one because I guarantee we've got a good one in there. They're already starting to take some of that bottom wax off. They were starting that one, but this one's pretty much advanced even further. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hang on, I have you. Hang on, I have you. There you go. There you go. Come on out. There we go. Hey, little one. How you doing? How you doing? Come on in here, right here. Right here. Get in there. Come on. There's that. These are so advanced, I'm really starting to worry now that we don't actually have a mated queen in here I mean yeah up oh, there she goes whoa that was a fast one you little zinger oh crap hold on a minute oh she's a runner come on mama you can get right in this one come on go make it real gentle come on get in that hole there you go now that was already closed on the bottom. And shoot, I'm just making sure I didn't have another queen in there. But top's closed, bottom's closed. And there you go. Six unmated queens out of that hive so far. And those two were right there at it. So this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, so we're six queens in the cage, and I found this on my last frame. Now we got to keep our eyes open for a little saucy, won't sit still little unmated queen to run around in here. I probably already vacuumed her up. Crap. It's not like I ain't got six other ones over there, but now I've got one running around in here I got to find. Because I got one queen cage left. Here we go guys, we got them in the box. 
Last night I put all the queens that we had caged in that box. This one they're fanning, but they're still quiet. And this is the one that I'm wondering, do we actually have a queen, another queen in there? When you've got 10 pounds of bees-ish, you need something big for them. And that's what we're gonna do here. There you go, they're ready to come out. So I've got everything kind of closed, but see right here, they can come out. So we're gonna, we're gonna slide that partial way back and we're just gonna start letting them come out. Now let's check the front entrance and see what happens over here. Look at this. Oh, isn't that cool? They are ready to come out and take a walk. Thank you, Yappy, for giving us a new home. I'm gonna give them a minute, so I'm going to cover them. I cover them because bees will go to light, okay? So if I've got that top open, they're, all, they're just gonna fly right back up to it. So let's give them just a little bit to settle in and, and start to figure out that this is home. All right, let's see if we got them to drop some. All right, let's give this thing a bump. Here's where the chaos begins. So I'm going to take this box and I'm going to put it right over here. But now, hey girls, you got a queen in there anywhere? Let's go ahead and start giving them some space to climb up and get them separated off of each other. Look out girls, come on. There we go. Just to get them to settle and relax, look out babies. I don't want to squish any, so look out, babies. Look out. So what I'm going to do is just set that there. Okay, good. All I want to do is I want them to start getting on frames. We'll give them a little bit of time to do that, and then I can take these tops back off and start going through there and see if we can't find us another queen. Now, we still have about three or four pounds of bees left in this one. All right. Now it's time to dump the other five pounds of bees in. Let's see how that goes. All right, they done got one of our queens out. They didn't get that one out. That one's still in there. They tried to get that one out. She's still in there. All right, that one's still in there. We gotta check that one. And that one's still in there. So we've got a loose queen for sure. Great. That's gonna suck. Let's get these other ones out of the way. See what happens. Worst case scenario is we'll find a ball of bees hanging in a tree. Just be on the safe side, we're gonna take and put one of those queens that I know can't escape. We're gonna put her in a cage that they can feed her but she can't escape. Okay, so we've got a secondary in there just in case, okay? Let's go ahead and get them smoked down. Let's try to get this last cover on, get them closed up, let them start acclimating to the front entrance. Gang, this is like the best update that I can give you. Right there in the center, you see that queen? Right there. That's our queen. Oh, she's beautiful. That queen was a hatched out queen. We did not find a mated queen, I'm, I'd hate it. I, could, I would have put everything on it that there was a mated queen in that hive. That is the darkest queen I've, put, I've come up with this year. I had to make you wait till the end to see her, but hey, you should have been watching the entire video anyway. But we we just been through about 10 frames and finally got to the one where she's laying eggs in it. So I'm really happy. 